Thank you for joining me. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields and a big thank you to thousands of new subscribers just over the last 24 hours. Welcome to what is the best weather community around, no doubt. All right, let's get forward. Let's get right into it. Don't want to waste any of your time watching this spot here near the southeast U.S. and the northern Bahamas for the possibility that that develops into Chantal. And then watching this out here on the eastern Pacific side, this here is flossy winds, sustained winds. We're right around 125 miles per hour. Our gusts were even higher. Uh, winds around 200 kilometers an hour sustained, gust higher, but it has peaked. Everything right on track with this. It is now going to weaken. So thank you for your trust with this system. It stayed right on track. It did bring us those tropical storm conditions along the southern coast of Mexico, but now we are seeing the weakening out of that. As we swing back here in the Caribbean, we have a new tropical wave that just moved in. I'll show you some thunderstorms for us in parts of the eastern and northern Caribbean. Then we swing back here, watching over toward Nicaragua, Costa Rica, even parts of Panama, really heavy rain. We are gonna see substantial flooding, heavy flooding in parts of Costa Rica over the next couple days. We'll break that down together with a model. Then out here, so just to orient you, here we are in the Eastern Caribbean, Dominica down through Trinidad, Barbados right here. A couple more tropical waves and a difference from last month. Usually they would just fall apart, but they are kind of hanging together. Now with that said, I'm not seeing development out of these in the short term, but as these move into the Caribbean, That'll increase the chance of moisture, the rain, and give us down the road a better chance of some development. But let's get back to this spot that we're watching near the Bahamas, up through the southeast coast of the U.S., back through the Carolinas, Georgia, Florida. This area here, all of the models are hinting at some development. The European model and the Canadian model do not have this area becoming a storm, uh, while the American model and the ICON model have this area becoming either a tropical depression or a tropical storm. It's not that one model's right or wrong, it's that this area is going to develop near land. If it develops basically on top of land or very close, that may prevent some development. But if this area is able to wholly develop over the water, that's the, that's the source for the, that's kind of the fuel. If it's able to develop over the water, it will develop into tropical storm Chantal, which is going to happen, don't know yet, because again, this area is developing close to land. But let me take you out and then we'll swing into the Eastern Pacific, swing you up toward the North, back through the Caribbean in depth. So thank you for your patience. Here's the spot we're watching that leftover from. Here's what's left of Flossie, that will be weakening. And then we'll get into these tropical waves that are sliding into the Caribbean. But here's the area we are watching. And by the way, I don't want to leave this out either. Mexico, Texas, parts of Arizona, New Mexico, I'll expand out in this. Some additional flooding possible in some spots with more of that monsoon flow. All right, let's get back to this now. Here's tomorrow, and you see the additional rain. The front starts to move toward Bermuda, but you see that additional rain. Now, much of the Bahamas were in good shape, especially central and southern Bahamas. 700 islands, big, big chain, no doubt across the uh, Bahamas. The northern Bahamas, that's where we'll see additional rain. So say Freeport, New Providence, we'll get some additional rain. This here is on Friday. The front kicks away, but the tail end of the front, like I was talking about really over the last couple weeks, leaves the moisture around. So you see that moisture around. And by the way, there's another little spin here. Has my attention, but again, just kind of hanging out there. May try to develop as well. It's a time of year it gets busier. So know that I'm watching everything behind the scenes. Now on Saturday, to, uh, Friday into Saturday, that's when there should be some development. If it develops over the water cleanly, that would allow it to develop into tropical storm Chantal. Now, what happens if it develops into a tropical storm? Well, some of the models, here's the American model, just kind of has it kind of swing its way back toward maybe Georgia, South Carolina with some additional rain. I'm not seeing anything too terribly strong moving in. Some of the models at times, though, hint that if something develops, kind of gives us that rain, but then kind of moves back off of the coast near the Outer Banks of North Carolina. I'm not sure uh, because, again, one, the system hasn't developed. Two, the land interaction is going to be kind of a headache as far as forecasting casting this goes. But as we get into next week, yeah, there's a possibility there's a little spin near North Carolina or South Carolina kind of sitting out here, maybe a tropical depression or a tropical storm, but at the least, it's going to be a rainmaker for plenty of us, right? Now, let me show you the winds, and then I want to show you the Icon German model, which has had a good handle on this potential system. The winds, I keep an eye on this. This is kind of my behind the scenes stuff. Just what I'm looking at here, this is Friday, so I'm jumping ahead. So this is into the weekend. I'm looking for any spin. Now, by Friday into Saturday, there's kind of a broad spin. 
So that is telling me something will try to develop. We know that something's going to try to develop, but does it kind of spin over the peninsula of Florida or a little bit more over these warm waters? But then you can see here Saturday into Sunday, a little bit more of a spin here, some gustier winds. Again, not seeing anything too terribly strong, but I am seeing a circulation. So all of the models are picking up on this, something trying to develop near the southeast coast of the United States, generally just to the north of the Bahamas. Now the Icon German model seemingly has had a good handle on this uh, system. It's showing all of this rain that we're seeing in through here, the old front, and then we'll watch out for some other areas of rain, of course, as we go forward. Let's go out in time here. Uh, this is by Thursday. So as we get into tomorrow, let's stop it here. So this is our Thursday, right? Same thing as the American model. You see this extra rain that is hanging out in here. And here's that other little spin that may try to develop to the north of Antigua and Barbuda to the north uh, here, but watching a new tropical wave sliding into Trinidad, and there's still some of the heavier rain tomorrow. Costa Rica, I mentioned that earlier, right? All right, let's get into Friday. I'll we'll stop it here. This is Friday. Now on Friday, that's when together we should start to see some sort of development. We start to get a little bit of a circulation somewhere in here. Still possible in the Northeast Gulf, but more so uh, either over Florida or the uh, uh, extreme uh, uh, Western Atlantic, right in through here. And then you see right there, as we work our way into Saturday, it shows something trying to develop. But at the least, that's going to bring in some heavy areas of rain, right? Kind of a, let's call it a sloppy system at this point. Some sloppier weather moving in to parts of the southeast U.S. And then as we work our way into Sunday, it is showing that this area may try to work its way up toward uh, parts of Georgia, more so South Carolina, and then even North Carolina, just kind of working in. But again, some of the models try to kick something out a little bit more, kind of skirting by North Carolina. Others draw something back into the southeast. We'll wait and see. And there's that additional spin south of Bermuda and just north of the uh, British and U.S. Virgin Islands as we work our way into Sunday. So what's going to happen? We're going to have to wait and see together, right? Uh, but giving you the heads up that we've got a sloppy system that is trying to develop. Now the European model uh, is uh, showing occasionally, it's showing some sort of circulation. Uh, but like the other models, not showing a ton, but it is hinting somewhere across the uh, southeast U.S. of now about a 30% chance of development. So it's kind of running anywhere from about a 30 to 40% chance of some development. But here's the Gulf Stream. That's a warm water current coming from the south where it's warmer to the north. And that's where this area is going to try to develop on top of. And you see some of the water temperatures. This here is in Celsius, right around 29 degrees Celsius. So we're talking well into the 80s. Very warm water, mid, even some upper 80s in spots in the uh, Gulf Stream here. So that will act as some fuel to this system. And that's why it could at least briefly uh, become Tropical Storm Chantal. So we'll expand out again in just a moment. And I want to show you flossy uh, the changes on that from overnight. But look at this really heavy rain. This is a concern not developing over toward Costa Rica, Panama. Although once this rain moves into the eastern Pacific side, it may develop. We're looking at some hit or miss showers possible for us in the eastern and northern Caribbean with a new tropical wave that has moved in. You can see by tomorrow, hit or miss showers possible. St. Lucia, Trinidad, Dominica, we may get a couple. Jamaica, we could get a couple showers and storms around. We've had a, a few the last couple of days. Cuba, we could see a few. Haiti and the DR, not a ton, but a spotty shower storm. Watching this area, of course, to the north. And then this here is by Friday. Still some hit or miss showers and storms. St. Lucia, we may see one or two. ABC Islands, not a lot. There's still the heavy rain in Costa Rica. That's why I mentioned that big flood threat that will be with us. And then some of the spotty showers and even and widespread showers work up toward uh, Nicaragua and Honduras, and then a new system trying to form in the Eastern Pacific. Sometimes when the Eastern Pacific is quiet, uh, is active, the Atlantic's quiet, and then kind of vice versa, uh, it'll flip as the season goes on. So the basin that's been really active has been the Eastern Pacific, but we're starting to see the Atlantic getting a little more active. Now watching that monsoon flow there, right there, there's Flossie weakening, stayed right on track. So jumping a couple days out, this is that new area that should develop into a tropical storm and then eventually into a hurricane. Now here's Zewantaneo, Acapulco, Puerto Vallarta, right in through here. Let's hope this stays to the south. Uh, again, it should be a little bit more to the south than what we just saw with Flossie, but it is going to develop into a hurricane. I will monitor if this moves a little bit closer by the time we get into Sunday, that would bring tropical storm conditions again 
into the south coast of Mexico. Hopefully it's, hopefully it's far enough uh, to the south, a little bit more to the south than uh, Flossie. That would be some good news, but another system developing. Here's Flossie. As I mentioned, it has peaked. It is going to continue to weaken. You see the computer models keeping this away from uh, Cabo San Lucas as expected. And all of these models just show that rapid weakening trend. Why is it weakening? Well, as I was mentioning in the last few days, as it lifts a little bit more to the north, it is entering into some cooler water. And that's why we are getting the weakening trend out of that. Now, still some strong storms possible trying to leave Cape Cod and then over toward the Outer Banks of North Carolina. That is the same front that is leaving moisture down near Florida and the Bahamas that will try to develop. Spotty storms possible, Quebec, and then back through the Great Lakes. Some of those could be on the strong side. Spotty storms possible back through the Rocky Mountains, watching that flood potential. Parts of Arizona over toward New Mexico, even parts of Texas, you see some of that moisture building in. There goes the front, leaving the extra rain right there. That's the spot we're watching for the possibility of Chantal and then there's that rain over toward Oklahoma as we work our way into Thursday and watching some of that rain near the Avalon Peninsula tomorrow uh, Newfoundland we'll see some of that rain uh, scattered about still scattered showers even New Brunswick uh, Prince Edward Island may see a few scattered showers on Friday watching the spot for development and then you see the scattered storms as we work our way really back through the plain some of these could drop an isolated tornado as we work our way into Friday not a widespread severe weather event but watching the plains as we go over the next few days now, here's Jamaica, watching out for some of the higher seas, especially on the south side. Here's the spot we're watching near the southeast of the U.S., and you can see how the seas are going to build as something tries to develop. Let's go out in time here. This is by the time we get into Friday. Things stay kind of choppy as we work our way back through the Caribbean. And then this here is on Saturday, and you can see some elevated seas southeast coast of the U.S. Uh, again, not seeing a super strong system, so the seas shouldn't be crazy. They'll be choppier to rougher, no doubt. And then this area here with a new system forming just south of Mexico. We will be watching how close that gets. But substantial rain, and you can see how much of the Bahamas, not a lot, right on the edge of the heavier rain over toward Freeport, for example, where you're seeing some of these brighter colors. That's about three to four inches of rain, 75 millimeters of rain to about 100 millimeters of rain over the next couple days uh, with that area. I'll show you that more in just a second. Hit or miss showers and storms, not to widespread Cayman Islands, Jamaica, Haiti, Cuba. Uh, just a few showers and storms around. We'll go over those forecasts in just a minute. Could see a couple more though near Puerto Rico, even the U.S. and British Virgin Islands. And if we do get a shower or a thunderstorm, that could give us a quick 25 millimeters of rain or an inch of rain. Antigua, Barbuda, same thing. Uh, St. Kitts and Nevis, uh, Anguilla. And then as we swing through Dominica South, that's where we could get a few showers that are going to pass by. I mentioned in the last uh, next few days, we'll see some of those spotty showers around. Parts of uh, Guyana though, slightly better chance where we'll have 75 millimeters of rain in spots, some isolated flooding. There is the really heavy stuff. Look at those reds popping up, parts of Costa Rica. Uh, that would be eight inches of rain or 200 millimeters of rain. I will be watching your comments, hit or miss, as we work our way back through Belize and then watching the monsoon flow, drawing in some of the moisture in through parts of Mexico. This is what's left of Flossie, that real heavy stuff sitting over water. But here's some of that rain. You can see it here, even moving toward Oklahoma. Uh, as that next system uh, starts to dive out of the uh, plains, seeing the uh, areas of heavier rain. And then we'll see how much of this kind of swings in. So heads up, of course, coastal uh, Carolinas over toward parts of uh, coastal Georgia near Sea Island. We could get some heavier rain depending on how this new system shakes out. Whether or not it gets a name, it's going to bring some areas of heavier rain, especially along the coast. So Jamaica, we have about a 30% chance from Montego Bay back through Kingston, spotty shower storm. See the rain chance kind of on the minimal side back through the uh, Cayman Islands. By Friday though, with a new tropical wave moving in, we'll see about a 50% chance of some scattered showers possible for us in Trinidad and Tobago. Barbados, that new tropical wave, will bring us about a 40 to 50% chance. So there are those spotty showers I was mentioning. Not a lot today in St. Lucia. We'll be up to about a 40% chance for tomorrow. 40% chance in Grenada. Nothing widespread, but by Friday, rain chance ticks up. You see St. Vincent and the Grenadines, 20% chance today in a 40% chance tomorrow and Friday. 20 to 30% chance in Martinique, 30% chance of a passing shower 
or a thunderstorm in Dominica and Guadalupe. A thunderstorm or two will be a possibility. Get back through Antigua Barbuda. You see how that rain chance is on the low side and just a 20% chance the next couple of days. St. Kitts and Nevis and Montserrat. 20 to 30% chance Anguilla and St. Bart's. A 20% chance St. Martin, Saba and Stacia. And we get back through Puerto Rico. The rain chance is a little higher. Some scattered storms possible. We're looking at a 40% chance and that means we could even see a few uh, showers, maybe a rumble of thunder around parts of the U.S. and British Virgin Islands, watching Tortola, uh, St. Croix, St. Thomas, St. John. We work our way back toward the Bahamas. Again, it's kind of split northern Bahamas. That's where we're watching out for the possibility of tropical development. Got you covered across the Bahamas. Turks and Caicos, rain chance 20%, 30 to 40% chance across the uh, DR. Rain chance stays limited the next few days across Haiti, and it stays on the hot side. 30% chance of a spotty shower storm for us from Ladyville back through uh, Belize City. We're looking at uh, only a small chance. Aruba, Carousel, Bonaire, rain chance running at about 20%, and that is it. We get back through Guyana, though. The rain chance gets higher. Northern and central sections, better chance of rain. 50 to 60% chance as we work our way the next few days in Suriname. 30% chance and pop-up storms favoring the eastern end of Cuba. There's the very high chance of rain. Costa Rica, Panama. Costa Rica in particular, we have that flood threat. 60% chance of some rain in Nicaragua. Monitoring some of those uh, rivers the next few days. And we're looking at about a 40% chance of some scattered showers possible in Honduras, including some of the neighboring islands. Guatemala and El Salvador, scattered areas of rain. 70% chance staying active through Mexico. Mexico City, 20 to 30 percent chance, Cancun, Merida, uh, Campeche, and then Northern Colombia, 40 to 50 percent chance, Northern Venezuela, about a 60 percent chance of rain, still interior sections of Colombia and Venezuela, better chance of flooding. And then we'll keep an eye on this front that will move closer to Bermuda by Friday into the weekend. So we're watching near the Bahamas, development possible later this week in stronger tropical waves as I showed you out in the Atlantic. So we'll be watching out for that. Flossing in the Pacific now weakening. Another one forming behind it. The next name on the list in the eastern Pacific side, that is Gill. If that area near the southeast coast of the U.S. gets a name, that would be Chantal. It is busy. Thank you for being part of this weather community. Have a really good day ahead.